My name's Marianne and I work with the London Environmental Network and you are on site at the first London Depave Paradise. Depave Paradise is a program that was started by Green Communities Canada. They selected us to be their delivery partner in London. It's much like it sounds. Depaving Paradise is ripping up underused asphalt and then planting uh, native species to support uh, pollinators, to help with stormwater uh, runoff and uh, tackle some contamination issues from stormwater, and then also to help mitigate flooding. We had the pavement cut into manageable sized squares, and then uh, volunteers and community members uh, ripped up the pavement by hand, put them into uh, wheelbarrows and took them into a recycling bin where they're gonna go to Try Recycling, which is a local recycling um, company and it's going to be turned into another product which is a, a, a roadside asphalt so the asphalt's not going into landfill which is great when we have a heavy rainfall or any rainfall the water that lands on impermeable surfaces um, runs along those surfaces and picks up contaminants such as uh, spillage from cars fertilizer chemicals etc so any dirt or contaminants that are on asphalt or cement uh, gets pulled into the water and where we live here in London our water, stormwater, goes directly into our river, which um, feeds two First Nations communities downriver. A big part of Deep Pave Paradise is um, letting community members come to the site and get their hands dirty and take part in what's going on. Everyone's learning a lot about native plants today and how they uh, pair best and work best together. So we want to have as many people as possible involved in the projects. Hi there, I'm Kareen Wilmink. I'm a professor of landscape design at Fanshawe College. I'm very happy and proud to be part of the design team with Cole Taylor uh, designing this space. So this is primarily uh, located within sort of the arts area in the college, so we were dubbing this the arts courtyard, but of course it's a space for all the students and faculty and administration to enjoy. We wanted to showcase uh, how native plants can be used in an enclosed space like this and to enhance uh, pollinators, to bring in pollinators of many sorts. I would say 95% of our plant choices are native. Um, this right here is Carex pensylvanica um, and it's a native sedge, also a no-mow alternative for grass, which is lovely. And we're going to be putting it as an understory underneath some of the, the taller shrubs. We have one large tree in the space. It's a tulip tree native to the Carolinian zone, which London is located within. Uh, other shrubs include witch hazel and red bud, Canadian red bud. Also, we have some cornice, some dogwood, which again has the sedge underneath as its understory. And then what we are also concentrating on is putting a, um, a fall native matrix. Uh, sort of in the middle of the space back here. So it's going to be lovely watching it grow and bloom and change throughout the seasons while you're in the courtyard. But also the idea with this design was that it was going to be seasonal interest from inside the school. Of course, when we're at school, um, it's usually during the, well, it's during the fall and the winter predominantly when most of the students are here. So we wanted something really beautiful for them to be inspired by when they're walking through the, uh, the, the hallways. You know, we feel it's important that London starts taking action, continues taking action to um, keep the stormwater that we're putting into the river as clean as possible. By adding permeable surfaces around the city as well at residences, businesses, and sites like this, public use sites, we're able to mitigate flash flooding caused by heavy rainfalls also. So the water is able to go further down into the water table as opposed to going into the stormwater and flooding the city all, all at once. So water that hits these surfaces now with these plants will go deep into the, into the ground, into the root system, and um, work its way into the water table. I'm Jim Roth, uh, owner at Pars Paves. Uh, very happy to be working with uh, Depave Paradise. This is our second project with them. The product is recycled truck tires and uh, granite and a polyurethane binder. Great because you're recycling and the big thing is the, uh, the water goes through. So with all the storm water issues, great for municipalities, for parks, for over pathways. With, with normal asphalt, uh, all the runoff goes into the storm sewers. If everybody had a porous paved driveway, that would save 
thousands and thousands of gallons of going into the dorm sewers and uh, causing less flooding. Most of our work is residential, so driveways, patios, big condos are using our product for their dog runs. The London Environmental Network also has a lot of support for um, residential sustainability and business sustainability. You can find any further information that you'd like about our programs um, and be paved paradise at londonenvironment.net.